Ah, need all my lights. One second.
All right, all right, all right. Had a little bit of drama and issue there with Carl Sandberg, the team that they're going against. Welcome to the channel. If you're just joining us, those of you out there that might still be watching, I'm Coach McKenna. We're in the Atkins Esports Arena. I got the Yorkville Varsity League of Legends team behind me. They're in round four right now. Now, if you're watching day early, you say, well, the heck, they had a round one against um, their first round. They did really well. Um, they were able to beat... Uh, Oh, gosh, I forget the name of the team. Wampa Stomp them did really well, and then we ended up losing round two against Jones. Round three was actually a free one because Barrington had to forfeit, and here we are round four against Carl Sandberg. Had an issue with locking in champs and all this stuff and drama, yada, yada, yada. But we should be ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start spectating Eggman here, and let me switch on over. Here we go. Perfect. All right. So we're going to wait for the spectator delay here. Got a great matchup. Um, Yorkville Foxes are favored to win this game. Carl Sandberg was rated at the bottom right now, or they've lost all their matches so far today. So let's see what happens here. Um, we do have Jacob going Orin top. That's kind of a nice, solid pick for him, going against Darius. We have Fiddlesticks Jungle, played by Cody right now, and then Eggman Raiders going to go Lissandra. Uh, Cookie for Jin's going to be Kindred, and then Sayram is going to be Rakan. On the enemy side of things, it's going to be Darius going against this Orn. Uh, Nidalee Jungle. Mouth Mid? And Callista Ash Bot. So we'll see how this all plays out here. Um, looking at team fight wise, uh, Yorkville Foxes do have to be careful, of course, with that Malphite initiate. That AoE pop up so devastating at times. Um, Darius, of course, he can start getting in there, drop a Q after the Malphite, and start dropping down R's and executing people left and right. But really, I mean, seeing seeing everything going on so far, I'm not sure if Carl Samberg, I mean, Callista's an awesome pick bot lane. These guys are really excited behind me. We're going to have to see what happens in the two and a half minutes from now after the spectator delay. Uh, something, something big happened, that's for sure. Uh, but yeah, we're excited. Uh, this is round four. Uh, these guys win this. It'll be three and one overall. They should be in top four so far, which would get them to proceed to the next round, which would be fantastic. Trying to figure out logistics for tomorrow. Uh, kind of a crazy day. It's going to be Mother's Day tomorrow. Uh, so we'll see how we get all that organized and if we can get everyone playing or not. Hopefully we don't have to throw out some FFs. But yeah, so everything's going pretty well so far for us. Hopefully we can win this match and we'll be going three and one. All righty, spectator delay is done. We are getting ready to stream League of Legends here in the gorgeous Atkins Esports Arena. I'm Coach McKenna, and off we go. Game loading up here. Should be a fun time. I'm excited to see team fights with this. I always love seeing Cody go fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks is near and dear to my heart. Um, I know the rework made him better for team fights, and the drain's now multi-champion instead of just singular, but... I miss old school fiddlesticks. He was the jam. All righty. Here we go. We are off to the races. Let's turn off strong here. I'm curious to see why these foxes behind me are just going wild at the start of the match here. Let's see if there's an invade that almost becomes a first blood but doesn't. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what kind of masteries these people are running here. Wow, I love this tight formation here. Got everyone in this bush. Oh my gosh, are they going to get this Malphite? Oh, wow. Oh my, oh wow, yeah, buddy. Woo, that was huge first blood. Great job, Foxes. Kindred gets a two. She's going to go back. Ari has a long sword. Let's see what she buys with it. She grabs another longsword. Wow, 20 attack damage coming into lane as opposed to this Callista, who's just starting with the Doran. And then surprisingly enough, the Ash also has a Doran's. She didn't go support item. That should put her at a disadvantage for warding later. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what Carl Sandberg has up their sleeve here. Foxes seem to be in a good spot so far in this little bracket conference we're in. We're holding our own. Uh, Jones was a really strong team. They had a great Graves. Um, first match um, against 
Seymour, that's the name of the team, uh, we did very well against them. Um, we had doubled the KDA. I think we had over a 13,000 gold advantage at the end. Oh, let's see it here. Bot lane starting off strong. Holy cow. Wow. Support picks up the kill there, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that was that was nice. Okay. So Yorkville starting off strong. Two minutes in, two kills. That's great. Let's see what's going on top lane here, how this is going to battle out. Orn did miss the first couple CS. That was the first minion he was able to get a kill on. You always have to respect your level, Darius. Those bleeding stacks are just so intense right now. And he's just in a really good spot in the meta. Does reduce his armor, but Orin does not want to really engage with the trade. Here comes Cody coming up top here with a gank. Let's see if he can pull it off with Fiddlesticks against this guy. Darius is going to pop his ghost, so he's probably going to get out of it. However, they do get one of his stumps. Darius decides to turn back around. Oh, it's so close. Cody goes for the flash, tries to get him with one more E or Q there. Just didn't happen, and they are going to push this wave into turret. And Darius is going to be on his back foot there in the top lane for the next little bit. Nidalee clearing her red. That puts her at level, well, she's already level three. Cody doing just fine him on his own. Comparing CS, Nidalee is a little bit up because Cody just ganked. However, he did get a sum for it. Wow, that was a pretty, I like that that was aggressive. It was like an escape, but the E landed right next to her. He was able to pop and kind of shove it right back on her face there. That was great. All right, down in the bot lane here. Watch how Kalista can be a little aggressive early on. Kindred isn't exactly strong, level one. Nidalee continuing to farm. She's on scuttle right now. Darius is going to have to bow out out of lane. Jacob has got himself some cloth. Right now, director camera took us back to the mid lane here. Mark is going to have some help. However, here comes Nidalee. Let's see if Mark's able to help out the fiddle. Wow, what a great dodge on Spear there. Mark's in trouble, though. Oh, no. It doesn't get off. He wasn't able to get the root. Ah, that's all right. Mark was able to get the kill, though. He is 1-1, one and, one, and enemy Malphite is 0-2, oh so that's great. Jumping down in the bot lane. Here comes Nidalee. She's going to jump on Sam. He's not able to get the pop-up with Rakan. They are going to be able to clear out that bush and still have vision Wow, what a great dive by Rakan there. He was able to get out of there. Nidalee's going to have to flash out, but look out. Man, that was a thing of beauty. I'm going to rewind that and slow it down. Oh, man, I love Rakan's dash here back to his ADC. Goes right for him. Gets him pretty low. He's at 44 health. And then Nidalee sees the writing on the wall. She says, I'm out of here. I'm going to flash over. Jin uses their, or Jin Kindred uses their flash. Gets over. Man, just a great clean kill. Great job, Foxes. Let's go, boys. Fantastic. Up in the top line, things are playing out here. Sorry, let me get my ugly mug out here so we can take a look at the mini map as well for you guys. Woo, I think we're eventually we're caught up now. Oh, wow, they're just going back and forth here, top lane. Let's see if this Orin can get this, Darius. Oh, all day, all day, all day. Oh, I got to avoid that Q with that heal. Gets him nice. Minion damage takes him down there. I didn't think it was going to do it. Eggman having success in mid lane, too. He's really starting to pull ahead now. Almost 10 CS up on this Malphite. 12 would make it a full two waves. Yorkville, seven kills to two at five minutes in. Nothing to sneeze at. Fantastic. Malphite, he might have to be here. Let's see how close Eggman is. Is getting six. He's almost halfway. So you don't have to watch out about, about the burst right now. Back to bot lane, this Kindred. Not sure if she's picked up any stacks yet on her passive. Rakan with a little bit of CC. Might be all Kindred needs. Absolutely. Picks up the Ash. Great job, boys. There it is. Ari has two hunts done. That is nothing to sneeze at. Wow. Come on. Nice job, Sam. Able to get it. Woo. Holy cats. 
Hang on, I think we're at one. I think we saw seven HP there. Let's keep our camera stuck on Rakan here. Oh my gosh, does it get close? Good job on the Callista. Hey, he gets down to seven health. That was intense. Woo wee! Speaking of intense in top lane here, walls are closing in on our guy Orn. Here comes the Nidalee. Oh, she does land that spear. That's gonna do it. All she has to do is walk up and just touch him. No big dive about it. That was a pretty clean, successful little gank there. Fiddlesticks just gets six. We'll love to see him maybe kind of wait for the crow storm there. However, the damage does go off. Yeah, that Darius was not respecting the AoE DPS of Fiddlesticks there, and it cost him his life there. Darius now down two. Look at this pretty much even Stevens here. Orin needs to start using those wards there. He has zero vision score. He's sitting on two wards. He might have been able to see. Wow, Fiddlesticks able to get his gromp away from that Nidalee. There's nothing but good news. She has no bomb to jump off of. She just used her dash. Can Fiddlesticks get her? Oh, she's pathing. Not in the smart location right here. Damage has already happened. If she just tries to kill herself at turret, it's not going to work. Yeah, Fiddlesticks would get the kill. Unfortunately, Orin used his ult there. I don't think that was necessary, but that's all right. Um, he's going to walk back up top lane to get back ready for Darius. Nidalee now 2-2. Two and two. Mid is 1-2. and two. Bot lane, Callista has now died three times in seven minutes. That is starting to pull ahead for our kindred. Mm. Kindred level 4, though. Just hit level 5. This Callista is absolutely going to get six before Callista gets six. So we'll see if that plays out in a little bit here. We'll keep our camera focused on mid lane. Nothing too crazy there. Seems like top lane is where all the action is right now. Oh, can Fiddle Six out drain it? Like, oh, man. He might have his ultimate again. He has to watch out. There it is. No. Woo! That's going to be a great gank by Glissandra there. Great rotation mid lane from Eggman. Able to come up and help out his top when he really needed it. Unfortunately there with Fiddle, didn't have a stopwatch. Would have been great to pop there. Kindred's going to be clean up house here. They got to watch out for this Callista though. Yeah, outnumbered there. Callista's going to get the double kill. And Callista's right back in this game with three kills. All right, Carl Sandberg's here to play a little bit, but, man, that early advantage that we got is still really holding true for us. 13 kills to 8 Yorkville's in a great spot right now. Looks like Sandberg might get this dragon, though. It's great to see that the Malphite's kind of behind because he's really the initiate. Um, if Malphite started to snowball, I mean, his just all-in wombo combo with his ultimate could have been really devastating later on. Um, so hopefully he doesn't start picking up kills and he can kind of stay a little bit behind. Eggman's got to be careful here. He's going to go right through them all. Wow, so close there. Got a couple of sums. Very, very close for Yorkville there for getting the kill on Nidalee. Just doesn't happen, though. Ooh, Eggman's got to be careful. Nidalee's looking for a long-distance queue here. She's going to say forget it and jump right to her rafters. Oh, good. Mark's just a little too low there. I thought Eggman was going to jump in on that E-claw. Wow. Kindred. Only two hunts. I'd like to see that number get up a little bit, but all the stacks and different marks are happening way up top lane. Meanwhile, in top lane, Darius is a kill up on Orn, but does have a death, and he has one assist. But here's the Nid, but here comes Fiddle. We'll see what happens here. Nilly says, forget this, I'm going to go B. She didn't like what she sees. Fiddlesticks is a little bit away from his Crow Storm here. Or else he could absolutely just drop in top lane. He decides to go back down to mid. Nothing going on right now. We do have a Herald up that no one's gone after. First Dragon went to Carl Sandberg. You know, all things considered, their jungle's doing a pretty good job. Yorkville only up essentially one team fight, five kills. A 
Mark puts down the hurt on Nidalee there. Electrocute everything. She is out of there. Was Kindred able to pick up another stack? No, two hunts still. That's okay. Gonna clear out vision. Good job, guys. Good job, Yorkville. Increases their lead to six kills now. Gold advantage, looking at it, right around 2K, 2.2. So that's nothing to sneeze at. We're starting to build up steam, starting to snowball a little bit. Jacob is doing a good job laning against this Darius. Starting to win trades every now and then, just chipping him down, chipping him down until eventually, hopefully, can just go all in on him. Great job, reduces the armor there. Oh, excellent smack of the Q. Darius is able to pull in and get a Q, though, so he's going to heal a little bit from it. I think that was an even trade, but Darius was already low, so that was essentially most beneficial for Orn. Here comes Nidalee. She's going to be looking for any kind of camp to harvest. Maybe looking to help out her Darius top lane here. We'll see if it happens. Bot lane starting to show. This Callista is so aggressive with her push right now. Do have alts up on three of our summoners here. Still waiting for an alt on Fiddlesticks. Eggman almost has his alt up again. Right now, bot lane is where the action is. We'll keep our camera focused down here. Nice, great pop up here. Let's see if he can run with it. Oh, no. Can we get a kindred alt? There it is. He's got to get her low enough. Wow, oh, so close. I thought that volley of arrows was going to do it, but he was able to Q with a little hop and get the kill. But there's just enough damage there. Minion creeps, everything. Here's Eggman. He is now level behind. That's interesting. He just, Malphite just by 10. Eggman's a little bit behind. He's been kind of wandering. Getting kills, though, for it. Right now, mid lane, yeah, he's two. He's got four uh, K, four kill participation right now, to right around 25%. That's pretty decent. Sam's in a little bit of trouble. Oh, never mind. That Nidalee's running scared right now. Just has to watch out. What is this? Yeah. Malphite does have Comet. It's helping those Qs do a lot of damage. Here comes a Rakan pop-up. Perfect timing. I don't even think of Malphite alts anymore. He's going to have to alt to try to escape, and he will. Oh, that's so heartbreaking. He's so low. Oh, that's all right. You know, forcing someone out of lane, he's going to miss a huge wave here. Seven minions. Ah, he's going to come back for it. Bot lane's trying to rotate up on Rakan and mid with Eggman as they set up for Dragon. Hopefully Kindred rotates out to this, and these boys can stop it. Now nah, Red Team's going to get the dragon. That's Carl Sandberg's second dragon at 14 minutes here. Right now Yorkville is just six kills in the lead. Great job, Yorkville there. Easy kill. Got to just be a little bit careful for this Nidalee. Let our directed camera take over again. We'll take a look at CS score wise. Uh, Darius was able to make a little bit of a comeback. He is now seven, eight, nine, almost nine. There's the nine, nine CS above on Orn. Cody as jungle is twelve CS above his opponent. Nice. Eggman is almost twenty up on mid. Bot lane sitting at a 10, so we do have a little bit of a CS advantage, which is leading to a little bit more gold than the enemy team, but we're still hovering right around that 2k advantage mark. This could be a great team fight for the boys here. We'll see what happens. A couple flashes pop off. Lysander trying to chase it down. Melon Fruit goes out. Nidalee throwing some spears. Got to be careful no one catches one of those with their face. Here comes Darius, though. We'll see if he just stays in farm or if he's there to play. Oh, Eggman's going to get caught out here. He is going to fall. Cody might be looking for a storm here. We'll see if he can get it. Offers a body for Rakan to jump, jump to over the wall. Great teamwork there. Oh, Rakan tries to get it. Crowstorm happens. 
you know, let's rewind this fight and slow it down just a little bit here. All right, Kindred's in trouble because here comes Malphite. All right, let's slow it down. Rakan almost gets the pop-up, but Malphite gets his ultimate off. Here comes Cody with the Crow Storm. Gets great placement with it. Does huge damage. Still doing a big bunch of DPS damage. Here comes Orn. He's going to get his ultimate off as well. Kindred did die from the Malphite, jumping on her. Here comes Orn. He forces Nidalee to flash, and it seems like that's all they're going to be able to pick up there. Nice job, boys. That wasn't too bad. One for two. Great trade. That pushes the Yorkville lead up to nine kills. Botter is going to take a lot of damage there. Not bad. Ah, Fiddlesticks gets taken down by Darius. Darius is no joke. He does have, does have his Mythic. Went Triforce. I'm surprised he didn't want to go. Well, I guess Darius, that is part of the meta. You build Triforce. So used to Garen and getting um, getting Stride Breaker and stuff like that. All right, a little bit quiet right now as we're reaching just about to mid-game here, almost at the 20-minute mark. Uh, no towers taken so far. Carl Sandberg surprisingly has the most dragons. Wow, really clean gank there by Lissandra and Rakan. That was a thing of beauty. Just easy money over the wall, dashes to him. I mean, let's rewind. Let's see if we can see that again. We'll slow it down. Man, so she jumps over. Rakan jumps to it. Just nice to see. Always great to see. We'll speed it up to get things back up to speed here. Back to quasi real time besides the three minute spectator delay. All right, man, Darius picking up another objective. Unfortunately, see Carl Sandberg, they are staying in this game just by picking up these objectives. Getting Rift Herald, two dragons. That's nothing to sneeze at. Yorkville kind of needs to step up the objective game a little bit. Fiddlesticks is clearing camps though. 110 and 5 and 2. Fiddlesticks is starting to start popping off, doing some damage. You're going to see some big boy crow storms here in a little bit. Speaking of which, here comes one. Wow. Man, Darius was able to pull a little bit of turret aggro there from Malphite. Cody just didn't really have the damage there, surprisingly enough. Level 11 did just level up his ultimate as well. Darius gets the fast back by picking up Harold there. Kindred's got to be careful. Nidalee is in that bush. She's going to jump over and say, I don't think so. Orin, meanwhile, pushing up top lane. He might be able to get the first turn of the game here, but here comes Malphite. Malphite does not have his ultimate, though. But Darius and Malph are going to do a pincher maneuver here. Seems like Orin is going to trade his life for turret, but he doesn't even get the turret. Oh, no. Oh, that is so unfortunate. He's going to die for no reason. Meanwhile, bot lane, Kindred able to get a kill on Ash. Let's rewind the clock and take a look at what happened bot lane here. Man, Ash is full health, too. They must just go all in on here. Oh, yep, and I see what happened. Lissandra just jumped in. Ah, once again for good measure because we kind of missed it with the auto director. Here we see Eggman. He's just waiting, licking his lips here, waiting for this Ash. She gets close enough in range. E goes over. WQ, good night. Not a bad job, Yorkville. Fast forward the clock here to get things a little bit more up to speed. All right, a little bit of a battle here at blue. Eggman able to get everything off there. Nidalee goes down. Eggman gets the blue. Nidalee's starting to rack up the deaths. That's her fourth one in under 20 minutes, averaging just about a death every five minutes there. Yeah, Nidalee going to use the bombs. To, or Kalissa going to use the bombs to get out of here. But Rakan uses his alt. Not going to have enough DPS to get the kill, though, especially with Darius there snooping around. And Malphite. Got to be careful. Malphite does have an ultimate here. He uses it. Only able to get one Fox, though. Here comes the Fiddle Crow Storm. That calls for a rewind, a little bit of a slow-mo. All right, so Cody's doing Dragon over here while all this action is going to go down. Rakan just tried to get Callisto, but it just didn't happen. She's going to live through that nice try, though. 
And here comes the Malphite ult, but it only gets Lysandra. Then Rakan gets a great pop-up. Eggman gets a great lock-in with the CCC root. Fiddlesticks ult. Fiddlesticks does eat an Ash arrow, but it does not matter. Even with the Ash volley, I mean, just too little too late there with the Ash ult. And Yorkville pulls a way ahead. Now over 4,000 gold ahead and 12 kills at the 20-minute mark. They did just pick up their first dragon, but hello, hello, what's this? Ah, they couldn't get Harold. Looks like Baron is going to spawn, obviously, 20-minute mark. Uh, let's see if these foxes rotate out to it. Woo! He's got to be careful there. Wow, great heals, excellent plays, great save on a teammate there. I thought for sure Lissam was going to be dead. Had a nice maneuver for Nidalee, though. I mean, she absolutely wanted it. Pop the hex tag to get that dash. I thought for sure she was going to trade a one for one. Great job, Foxes, holding that down. And with their enemy jungle down, there is no smite to take this, except for Yorkville, so Foxes are going to go for the Baron here. This is going to be a huge push for them with this. Foxes need to get some more turrets here. They've only taken down two in 20 minutes. Looks like Ash is going to get this one bot lane with Callista. For some reason, Callista is just standing here, not attacking. I wonder if everything's okay on the Sandberg side of the technology. There we go. All right, Callista is alive. Her internet is working. Good to see. Always frustrating when you do have tech issues, ranked match, a competition like this. Um, ah, Darius is going to pop Harold, and he's going to get an objective that is going to help the gold difference for his teammates. Let's see what happens here if they can get this Malphite. Remember, you Foxes do have Baron buff right now. Looks like there's going to be a fight happening here on the mid lane. I'm going to slow this way down. I can already smell a team fight happening. Rakan's going to come in. Going to get a double pop-up. Orange's going to shred the armor of both of them. Kindred's going to come in and just start cleaning up house. Lands the E on Malphite. Oof, double kill. Great job, Foxes. We'll speed it up here a little bit. Excellent, excellent. Does seem like we do have a, a game end here at coming up, so we'll see what happens here. Fox is looking really strong with their push. They do have Baron. We got four summoners mid. Fiddlestick is going to bring up the rear. He's going to have a crow storm, and let's see what happens. Oh, dove a little too hard there. Jacob goes down. Nidalee looking for some spears here. Callista as well. Let's see what happens. Fiddlesticks is bringing up the rear here. Let's see if he's going to have a crow storm to say about this. Wards that bush. We'll speed him up and slow him down. Let's see it happen here. Fiddlesticks jumps in, and the DPS goes crazy. Let's rewind that and see it again here. Speed it up. Let Fiddlesticks get up into position here. D -d -d. Then we'll slow it down. This is a great placement here. Lysandra goes in. Gets excellent with the pop-up with Rakan as well. Kinder starts cleaning up. And then, man, the Fiddlesticks Crow Storm is just the icing on the cake. Sayonara. Good night. Great job, Foxes. Still have the Baron buff here, so they're going to push this tower down. Going to get the inhib as well. All right. Man, Foxes, they might be able to just take this all the way here. Let's see what happens. Ah, Foxes say, no, nah, let's go back and reset. Take, buy some items, you know, let's use our gold advantage. Sincerely, they're almost up 10,000 gold advantage. That's ginormous. All right, let's speed it up a little bit here. Seems like this game did already end. Get the action going a little bit. Bring it back to normal speed here. Fox is kind of meandering. They're just getting camps right now as they're looking for the next team fight. Cody almost has his next Crow Storm. And after that, I believe all Foxes will have their ultimates ready. But you do have to be careful. Malphite does have his ultimate. This Nidalee does do some damage. 
She'll have Hex Tech and an Ability Rod. Her spears do hurt. Eggman should be able to get this tower. Ooh, those Lysandra Qs absolutely sting. Wow, that is huge damage. He doesn't mind using his alt to make sure that the kill gets secured. Good job, bot lane there. Eggman able to pick up a kill. Darius is stuck on cleanup duty as there's super minions now inside the base. Looks like everyone's getting set up for dragon here. Next one's going to spawn in under a minute. Wow, they're going to eat that blue. Should see a pincher maneuver maybe happen here, bot lane. Nope. Foxes say forget that. They're just going to set up on dragon. Excellent. That is two fire dragons. They are starting to stack up. That's 8% AD and AP for these foxes. Making their way now. Bot lane. Orn's almost kind of baiting them out. Here comes the fiddlesticks ultimate. Doesn't get everyone, but you know what? That's what friends are for, and it's a nice cleanup by the foxes there. Bot turret's going to go down. Whom? Meanwhile, at the enemy nexus, turrets are starting to fall down here. Mini wave's going to go up. Darius cannot contest this bot lane. There's four of them there anyway. Not much he could do. Another inhib's going to fall for Sandberg here. Nidalee is just totally ignoring her base. Now she finally recalls, but it might be a little too late here. These foxes have a huge momentum. These towers are getting absolutely shredded. Ash Arrow goes out. Cody's starting to take some damage. He gets exhausted. Woo! Jumping around. Alts are flying everywhere right now. It's going to be a triple kill for Kindred. Let's rewind that and slow it down to see exactly what happens here in the final moments of this game. Darius is going to pull Kindred in, but she is about to get a triple kill. Explodes that Darius with Lysandra. Comes on in, lands a couple of Qs, and then, whoa, one more to seal the deal, even though Ash flashed out on there. Fiddlestick starts draining the Nidalee. Kindred gets the final kill on it, and here comes an E from Lysandra. Are they able to get this guy before he jumps back? The Kindred ult almost saves him. Great job. Triple kill from Kindred. Double kill from Fiddlesticks. Wraps up the game. And there's the first official week of the IHSEA League of Legends season. Yorkville Fox is able to go 3-1 and one today, only losing a match to Jones College Prep. Able to take down Seymour right away, lose to Jones, get a free FF from Barrington, and then absolutely dominate Carl Sandberg. Uh, GG's to everyone involved. A huge shout-out to the IHSEA for putting this thing together. I'm Coach McKenna from the Atkins Esports Arena. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next week. We'll see if we can figure out what's going on Mother's Day. We might have to kind of throw out some FFs our way, um, but we'll see what we can work out. Um, but be sure to check out our stream next week when we get back together for our single elimination tournament. So here we go. Sayonara. Adios. Good night.